The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? One, two, three, four. It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed and ripened into a precious friendship. I could have never seen what was coming for me. Hangs at the skate park, hangs by the beach. My life, it feels like. Welcome to my brother, my brother, and me and advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. Mm. Oh, I'm your middlest brother, Travis McElroy. Sorry. What up, Trav Nation? Sorry, I was just enjoying a drink of this strawberry banana bonanza testicle festival shake. Uh, these things are delicious. If you haven't gotten yours, and I'm, I'm not a paid spokesperson at all, Trav Nation. You know that. I'm just a big fan of these strawberry bonanza Strawberry banana bonanza testicle festival shakes. <laughs> uh, they make me feel my balls are huge. Oh, uh, thank you all name. so much. You guys have got to try these. And if you do, listen, not related. I'm not paid. But if you use sponsor code TravNation, <laughs> you get 20% off. Just that's something I can offer we you. Sorry, sorry, on go on. Our website where if you use the code TravNation, you save 1%. Your price is increased by 5%. <laughs> mm. You make um, 5% too much. And I am. A scary mummy. Hi, you spooky guy. Welcome, welcome to the show, everybody. Tis the season to uh, uh, talk about the the new costumes for ourselves, and I thought we could all just kind of pick them out together. You yeah, know? you thinking you're going with a news peg this time, or sort of sort of a reverent? Um... Well, here's the thing, Griff. Yeah, the, the uh, much needed uh, and hopefully soon ending uh, strike. Uh, by the SAG group that we have to be a part of has complicated yeah. some of the discussion yes. of the, <laughs> the timely new costume. Yes. Well, luckily, luckily, Justin, yeah. we've got Spirit Halloween, at least here in the U.S., Spirit Halloween right. for all of your non-trademarked costume needs. Okay, real quick, just a quick check-in with everybody. Where's the spirit this year? In what? your region. Trav, where's the spirit this year? Oh, it's in the abandoned urban urban air playground that Perfect. used to be like a trampoline park. Um, Whoa, it, you know what's so wild, Trav? No shit. My spirit Halloween's in, in what did they call it? Trampo land? What was the oh, word? Oh, really? Oh, that's no, not a good name. Extreme air. Extreme yeah. air. Uh, the, the, the Toys R Us trampoline park. Yeah, spirit Halloween now. Uh, COVID, yeah. did, COVID was rough on trampoline park in DC. Griffin's he's in Kevin McCarthy's abandoned office. Oh, whoa! Shit. Travis topical. Took mine. Oh, shit. Travis took mine. I was gonna do a DC joke, but Travis took no. Mine. Now you do your. Was it as good as that though? Because that was fucking good. No, his was better. I was gonna say mine was in the Smithsonian Museum of Horror. <laughs> <laughs> which is uh, the scariest of the Smithsonian. Do you know they just have a castle in the middle of the city for no GD reason? I think I'm going to be, oh, I can't be a Minions, can I? No, you because can be Yellow this, Thumb Man. Yes, I see a, I see Fart Pill here. Yellow Fart Man. Yellow Fart says. Man Pill. Yellow Fart yellow Man, fart man pill. pill could be him. Mm. And, uh, and it says here, evil stepfather. I think that's supposed to be Gru. I'm not 100% sure. That. It's not a good description that they went for there. Yeah, I the do very like front it. Of the, the very front of the website says Shop Wednesday, but it's Thursday, and I yeah. simply cannot wait six days. No. Do they have on there um, Quiet Fish Lady? Because ever since my daughter saw that movie, they wanted to be Quiet Fish Lady for Halloween. Now, I'm so sorry. Do you mean Shape of Water? No, quite fish lady. She has the red hair, and her dad 
He's angry. He's got a big fork. Okay. Okay. I, yeah. Okay. You can understand okay. my confusion, though. That that I actually can't, lady. Griffin, because I prefaced it by saying my daughters, after seeing the movie, wanted to be it. So you thought, mm, what movie could Travis have shown his daughters that then they'd want to hey, be? Girls, I girls, know. Wake up! They're doing a seventh anniversary showing. <laughs> we got to get there, guys. Shh, yeah. We got to drive six thing. hours to the nearest showing. Shh, wake up! Don't tell your mom. Come on. It's the sing along version. Do not. Do not parents know about the sing-along thing maybe sometimes not. when they do a movie that your kids love and have already watched a thousand times they will re-release it like a month mm -hmm. later and they just have like a follow the bouncing ball thing at the end of the songs and your the, kids are encouraged just to absolutely go bananas the best part of that the thing i love about that is that the preconception of that is that until then my kids had not been singing along to the music they'd heard a thousand times because there were no words Trav, to be read no, on screen. Trav, Travis, no, man. The permission is for the adults, you know? The words on screen give them permission to play. Yeah. Give me permission? I'm an adult. I don't need permission. Yeah, but I pay the bills the under my roof. It's the social, it's the social cue. It says, this is okay. This is permitted. This is what we want you to do. Social cues. I'm thinking about I always maybe, forget about those. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking at the website, and it looks like Spirit Halloween is offering a costume that is a big pig, like a tall pig, a pretty huge tall. pig. Tell and me about the girth. Wide as it is tall, just like a huge, like wide seven, as it is tall, a real seven chode foot pig, tall. Uh, it's and seven foot wide, and it's wearing a Lakers jersey, and it says Shaquille o Squeal. I don't think that Whoa. people are going to get that if you wear that to a party. If it says, oh, squeal on the back, I could see that coming across. That, wait, no, it doesn't have anything on the back. This is bullshit, Spirit Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's Balloon Boy. There's two different Balloon Boys. There's is there one boy if with it, balloons? Bo balloon Boy with balloon. And then there's one if Balloon Boy had gone bad. Um, oh. Yeah, that one's sort of a reverent <laughs> South Park one. Do they have a skinny chocolate selling man on there? Skinny chocolate selling. Oh, you're still doing the movies joke. We went back. Oh, to is the, that like, from a movie? Other I sorry, Griffin. Joke. I've only read the novel. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's why he changed the title inexplicably. God, he I can't remember. Um, I can't wait I to talk they about Skinny a, Man. They uh, they have a big section on here for JoJo Siwa outfits, which mm -hmm. if you don't know. Um, the JoJo Siwa outfits they have are um, like the rainbow jackets and the denim and the huge bows and everything. And I don't know if you've been paying attention, but JoJo Siwa has a vastly different vibe now yeah. than this iconic. And I was thinking about it. Wouldn't it be weird to go into a spirit Halloween and one of the costumes available they had was eight-year-old Justin McElroy? <laughs> <laughs> like, they, what if they had kept costumes of your steez? Mm -hmm. From a different time in your life. Like, oh yeah, that was, he had highlights, if you can believe that. So this is the one, the Justin Wick has highlights. This is 13-year-old uh -huh. Justin. Here's a huge No Fear t-shirt. A huge No huge Fear t-shirt. No Fear t-shirt. And here's the and spoiler. Yes, the There's a little card in there that just says, for character purposes, he had lots of fear. <laughs> there was plenty of fear. Don't worry. And it is also the Christian parody version of No Fear. It is not a legitimate yeah. No Fear t-shirt. Yeah. It is like no pain, no Christ. I thought. With the K and the W. No woman, no, <laughs> no, no woman, no cry. No woman, no cry, no Christ, no pain. No Christ, no pain, I don't think is what it is. I don't think it's I no think that was it. Christ is just pain leaving the body. I think it's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Cooper had to come up with a sentence for school that used and. And the sentence she came up with was, I like pizza and God. <laughs> Together. Just me and my best friend. Teenage Mutant Ninja Christians. Teenage Mutant <laughs> Ninja Christians. Where's that movie? Please, Thank Kevin you. Sorbo. Yes. Get at me, Kev. Kevin, Kevin Sorbo. Get at me, with Kev. all of your riches that I'm sure you're just sitting Kev, on. Kev, I know so you're busy. sitting on riches, pal. <laughs> so busy focused on the family, we're not focused on fun. And you gotta cut loose sometimes. Yeah. Right? Here's what I'm thinking. Live action. Jesus made wine. Yeah, live action. Kevin plays every turtle. <laughs> yeah. Kevin that's as far as I'm that's as far as I got. <laughs> Kevin so fast every turtle. <laughs> If, if Kevin is a douchebag, <laughs> Turtle Power. If, if we're talking about a movie that 
cannot be made. I mean, <laughs> the laws of nature. Is it still a strike project in the film? <laughs> Could not, would not, shall not ever. <laughs> yeah, must not. I would say must not. Must not. What There's part? only so many seals left on the apocalypse. We can't yeah. make. We can't make Kevin Sorbo presents Kevin Sorbo as all four Ninja Kevin Turtles. Sorbo Christian Turtles is the name of this film now. Um, why can't it get made? Juice, you saw multiplicity. They can have four versions of <laughs> one dude. It can't be made. It can't be made. It okay. can't be made. Kevin's okay. <laughs> Kevin does, first of all, he's allergic to the glue they use to do the dot mapping on the face. So yeah, that yeah, would, yeah. that's out. Famously. You'd have to do everything in <laughs> Well, it would be, he would only have to do the mocap once, and then we'll just <laughs> copy and paste that Teenage Mutant Ninja Christian Turtle four times. Yeah. And so yeah, no anytime, sense. yeah. So, and we can paint different colors on them in post, like give them different mm -hmm. color headbands and shit. Yeah. This they, all tracks, actually. They, they will all have guns in this version. Oh, um, okay. Wow. Which is just going to make this multiplicity of Sorbo much easier. I think when it's plural, it's Sorbet. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> stupid. Uh, have you guys picked out costumes yet? You gotta, I'm so you... tired of doing jokes, man. Whoa. Aren't oh, you? I that, I, that sounded like Justin was being sincere, like a sincere I, brother yeah, costume. Yeah, it's but... kind of like just, com just talking. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like people do. And yeah. also, Griffin, we're like 10 minutes into the show, bub. I don't yeah. know. Wow. I don't know what to tell you, man. I we really got a lot left, it all left on the to go with here. that fucking intro, dog. <laughs> okay. Did you hear my Shaquille squeal joke? God damn, I need a fucking, <laughs> I need to go on a, a, a break after that. Come on. You need a sabbatical? I need a sabbatical. That was hot shit. Griffin is worrying me a bit now because normally this kind of energy would be building to some sort of a bit or a twist or like. Nah, man, I know. shot my wad on Shaquille O'Squeal. I'm fucking t <laughs> toast, dude. <laughs> Have we ever had a 12 minute episode before? What if we just said, <laughs> hey, mean? man, listen, we know it's short, but every second was gold. <laughs> How do you tell Sha <laughs> How do you tell Shaquille O'Neal? No, no, you what? just said his name in a strange way. <laughs> Go squeal, go squeal. How do you mean it? <laughs> How do you mean it? You can't. <laughs> Did you change? Did you change the first Papa name? Hogs. <laughs> <laughs> Did you change the first name? Um, I think I just <laughs> the squeal in a weird way. Shaquille, Shaquille, la squeal. He's <laughs> he's a pig detective. Yes. <laughs> Guys, I don't think we can. I think he's maybe, half pig, half porcupine. Uh, yeah. What if we did a funny joke where we were like, "This one is only twelve minutes long because we couldn't top it," and it's a funny joke, but it has a benefit. No, of... we have to do ads. <laughs> That's true. Okay, <laughs> let's do the ads. And we'll... No, let's do at least one question. People need this. People rely on this advice. They don't tell us that ever. Yeah, we're kind of a frontline worker when you think oh, about man. it. Yeah. Oh man, that's not. How accurate, come nobody man? bangs pots out their windows at us? Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. When we walk down the street, people should bang their pots out their that, windows at us. They do that at me when I'm creeping around for their pies. Yeah, <laughs> got the pies and, then you, out and there. you cough up a whole fish skeleton while you're singing <laughs> on the back fence. I would be a very if okay, you know Bobby's world. Sure, <laughs> Bobby's world is the Howie Mandel sort of like or um. What's another one? Uh, My Life with Louie? Was that it with Louie Anderson? Yeah, yeah, Little Louie, that kind of deal. If that was going to be... Uh, I, if someone was going to do that about my life, yeah. you know, I think that's the approach they would take. That would mm. be the animated kitty? approach. What? Oh, I thought you meant like make a your Heath Cliff style. Yeah. You know, like, Justin, Justin, no one should. Kind of that kind of no thing. One like a, no one should? No one should. That's how the Heathcliff... Terrorize the neighborhood. So wait, Heathcliff's Heath Cliff position... Heathcliff was like was neighborhood terrorism. watch. No, he, he was, was terrorism. He was He's a terrorist. A terrorist. He okay. terrorized, he the, terrorized neighborhood. the neighborhood. And I, the song was explicitly saying, "Hey, don't do that." Heathcliff, yeah. no one should terrorize, terrorize the, neighborhood. the neighborhood. I don't. I know fuck all about Heathcliff because I'm. I Clearly. find him offensive because of Gar because because of Garfield. Like okay. I'm offended by Heathcliff. All I know is he's got a lot of friends, which says yeah. a lot about how much confidence they had in the Heathcliff character that they had to flood the show 
with other storylines. Garfield doesn't would, need that. I wish I had been there when the studio executive was like, what is it? He's just a big cat. We can do that. Hey, Love that. Do, hey guys. Hey, everybody likes Garfield. Let's do a Garfield. Let's, let's do, do it. Let's just do a Garfield. Call up Jim. Let's do a Garfield for ourselves. There's plenty of money to go around. It's like Gallagher too. I think it's really cool that we were like, oh man, we used up so many funny jokes. Please. Can't keep going. Please. I know what we'll do. We'll just hit some stuff that's not funny at all to reset. <laughs> for her, like, if I met. All right. Question. There's some good ones here. I that bet. was the chill out tent. And now yeah. that, let's, like, we're amping Have some orange up. slices and let's get into it. Let's go. I have a lot of coworkers with infants and small children. They're always showing me pictures and telling me funny stories, which is cool. But here's the issue. I know nothing about babies. I don't have or want kids, nor do I have any friends or family with small children. So my experience with those uh, little critters is extremely limited. I'm tired of responding to kid talk with something generic like how cute or that's so funny. As child havers yourselves, you must know what are some good ways to compliment babies. Uh, that's from Befuddled by Babies in Boston. Uh, one of my go-tos is like a, a reaction of like, oh my God, like that child is so cute. It causes me physical pain. Yeah, that's And you huge. go like, oh, oh uh, man. Oh yeah. God, that kid's so cute, right? It's like, oh, it hurts. Call an ambulance. <laughs> but a, not for me. A lot of parents like it when you talk about how like how thick their baby is and yeah, how like because yeah. it's like they're thriving um, yeah that, that baby's it, doing the one thing that it is yeah like, legally required to do which look is at that bigger. just hit them with a look at that stack of pancakes oh that's a good one no don't try to no guys here's the thing don't try to vamp this because look listen what griffin just said look it at that should i say it again yeah, say it again and imagine you just like pulled out the first pi a picture of your newborn baby. Look at that. Go ahead, girl. Look at that stack of pancakes. Yum, yum. You can't sound hungry is what I'm saying. Like you can't, does that make People you sound like a People want to eat baby. People want to like eat a, That is a, like a deep sort of genetic thing is is you find something so cute that you're like, I'm gonna, that is a real thing. I'm Griffin is absolutely correct here, J-Man. There's science hey guys, behind it. Yeah. Don't okay, there's science behind lots of things. You can't just sit on here and be like, everybody wants to eat babies all the time. No, That's, no. It's not like not all the time, only when they see them. It's a response to finding something so cute that you have to eat it. That's Justin, like a, I'm going to go a step further and say, if you want to eat babies all the time, even when you're not looking at a baby, that's actually that's not hugely good. That if you're sucks. sitting around at home and like, I just have to consume a baby. Wait, how, how am I the bad guy? How am I the bad guy? <laughs> no. Well, you what? introduced 24-7 baby craving. No, no. I'm not the villain of this piece, guys. I'm sorry. It's, um, it's, what if you reacted to seeing the baby? Like they were showing you videos of their cool skateboard tricks. Yeah. And you Ooh. were just like, whoa, radical. Yeah. <laughs> well, fuck. Sense. Yeah. That, you fuck. nailed that. Oh, gnarly, bro. Cursing is good. Cursing is good. Fuck. Yeah. That's, a good, that's a good response. Fuck yeah, that's a baby. The thing is, got it. You got to remember that honestly, they don't care what no. you say to this. It, what's nice is that you are the fact that you care enough, right? To worry about what you're responding means you're already doing the right thing. Yeah. You're listening, you're engaging, laughing appropriately, but that's all the person's looking for. Honestly, they don't have a lot going on in their life right now, probably because new babies absorb a lot of that stuff. So just having an adult to talk to is is a delight. Trust now, me. Don't no one's expecting baby expertise. In fact, people hate baby expertise. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't do, do that. do not want to hear any baby expertise. There's not a right thing to say, though. But we can all agree there's like a wrong thing. There's like a hundred million there's wrong a things. A hundred million wrong things. Don't react badly. <laughs> don't say don't react in a negative way. And I think you'll be fine. Sorry, yeah. I need Justin to stop barreling the camera because he's causing me like a <laughs> He's great giving deal a lot of egg. gems. Are you getting this a lot? Are you getting yogurt. these fucking gems from juice? <laughs> it's just I feel like that's the most natural. Okay. That's why I put you guys off to my right. You guys I've got Griffin you guys call. off to, yeah, there's no way. I'm, I feel like Griffin and I, the way we're looking right, right now on my screen, we're talking at Justin. And Justin just, <laughs> you guys are right here. Uh, you're right here. This is you. Oh, no. This is you, okay? And that, this uh -huh. is my eye line. It's this close. It's right here. You're over so here. Just, you're, you can't see my hand. You're over there to me. Hmm. But yeah, this, this is, is nothing to audio, most of our like audience, worst, I will top, say. Top yeah. worst audio ever. Uh, here comes your next question. 
Oh, I'm not whoa. Wait, down. let me brace. Hold on. Let me brace. Go ahead. I FaceTime with my nine year old niece every week. Humble brag. Her preferred activity is called Haunted House, in which she acts out being possessed by a demon. Whoa. She gets to play both the cold, calculating demon and the pleading victim, screaming for help, panicked, crawling, death scenes, etc. It's a fairly demanding role with a good amount of emotional complexity. My character, concerned aunt, on the other hand, is very flat. I mostly yell, no, and get away from her. What are some ways I can add nuance to my character without taking away too much of her spotlight? That's from Bad Actress in The Big Apple. You're not a bad actress. There's no such thing as bad actresses, only bad roles. And that's what this is. But it's mm-hmm. a necessary, it's a necessary mm-hmm. role. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just want to say, this is a thought I have often where I'm like, you know when you watch someone in a horror movie and like bad shit is happening and you're like, why are they more concerned? Or like, why are they still in the house? Or like, how are they letting this happen, right? And it's like, are you sure that your niece isn't possessed with the demon? Are you 100%? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100% yeah. certain? Yeah. 100%. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I uh, I you know I, Justin. I have uh, it's not real. I have a lot oh. of great characters uh, that at, uh, in my house. Um, there, there's Chatty, who is like the cool version of me. Yeah, and that's when my hair is down like so that. So Chad, Daddy, is that what we're Chad, hearing? Yeah, Chad-y. and he's okay. cool, okay. and he doesn't have any rules. And he that's a look cool. Very, he does if you need a break cool. as a parent, you just summon up Chatty. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have to police anything and get on pads. Mm-hmm. Eat chocolate, whatever. Yeah. Um, my character, uh, Philip Panty Pants, is the character for. Uh, he's a secret agent, uh, who helps us do the scavenger hunts. You guys have sent like video. Clips oh yeah, before. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seen yeah. all about Philip Panty Pants and his arch enemy Carl Stinkums. Who? Guess what? Also me. Also Whoa. you. That's great. Yeah. Don't tell the girls. I'm going to tell them when they're 18 that I'm both Philip Panty Pants and okay. Carl Stinkums. Justin did um Justin did the character of Beetlejuice in front of my son so many times that my son has developed his own Beetlejuice personality called uh, Justin got a chance to meet him last yes. weekend which I imagine was very exciting for him. It was so thrilling. Very satisfying. His name's Jeffy Butterson. He yep. um he was summoned <laughs> him by saying his name five times. So sort of like Candyman rules. Um he he my favorite is he doesn't walk, he parties. Yeah, he oh, parties yeah! from he, as a, a means of conveyance. He does party. His favorite color is disco. This dude rules. <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey Butterson is actually his favorite. Good. His favorite um, <laughs> holidays are Easter and Hanukkah, which is wildly yeah. confusing. Yeah, um, I love that. Butterson's got an open mind. I don't man. get to be. Char- that's to say, I don't get to be characters in this house. That's why when I'm on this show, guys, it's USA characters welcome because I gotta fucking blast this off so I don't try to workshop any material in front of fucking <laughs> Jeffy Butterson. See, get this my is, ass handed to me. I'm see now. I'm. Uh, the other side of this, right? Where my favorite thing, it cracks me up every fucking time. Dot will be like, hey, play Barbies with me. And I'm like, okay, man. And she'll, she'll have a Barbie and she'll hand me a Barbie. And I'm like, okay, hey, Skipper, how's it going? And then Dot goes, Skipper's asleep. Ah, uh, you and I'm fucked like, up, oh, man. Okay, so what do I do? And she's like, just have your Barbie do stuff. And I'm like, oh. Okay, and then I just realized Dot's just watching, watching me you play. Now. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Barbie, and I'm like, wait a minute. That's oh, the behavior also... you're modeling. They'll remember for a lifetime, Trav. It's, yeah. it's I, that's quality beautiful. time. I have a character that I I call uh, Befuddled Dad. Oh, uh, and not the best name. I know, if but it's normally just a bit of like I can't remember how to pronounce the names of different characters. Okay, and that's how I landed on Smelsa, who is smell, who is Elsa's smelly sister. And also has a sister who's normal. Well, that's Banana. <laughs> who is, so well. basically, I've created like a Waluigi and a Wario, <laughs> okay. right? To Elsa and Anna, who are Smelsa and Banana. That's great. And <laughs> this is good Dot stuff. finds them hilarious. Yeah. yeah. She loves the idea. And Baby's like, Dot, that's not their name. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure it is. And then it becomes a battle for which child is enjoying it most compared to which child is enjoying it the least. And the answer is always, I'm enjoying it the most. Right. The smelly, uh, smelly Elsa is very funny. To Do me. you think you could talk to a priest who you could invite to the FaceTime chat? Like mid possession, 
like, oh, I know what I can do, and like bring a priest into the chat. Like you can do I'm that saying with some a puppet. Twist, some twist. Ooh, a priest puppet is good. Some twist for concerned aunt. Where she doesn't see it coming, like concern aunt gets possessed too. Now everybody's possessed. No, that that's, ruin that's it. spotlight ceiling. That's you spotlight ruin ceiling. It for both of you you want right. to add on without changing because it's right now it sounds like nine year old likes the dynamic. What about of a romance? Concerned aunt. <laughs> a romance art. That's cool. Aunt gets like the package delivery at the beginning, and she really uh-huh. hits it off with with the the lady who's yeah. delivering packages, and they have like a. Like a romance. romance. That's cool. Write that out, Juice. Yeah, I love that. that out. Script me, that out for me. Give me a treatment on that. That would be lovely. That's it. That was the. That was the uh, thing. What about? What about? As a concerned your aunt, magic. you start to kind of side with the demon a little bit. Like actually, okay. demon's making a lot of good points. Yeah. Now that oh, I think about it. Okay. Yeah, um, that would be. I'm not sold on it. Listen, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Maybe we hear the demon out. So yeah. much of acting. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> I can't wait to hear the rest of this. So much of acting uh, is the brain is in the brain is in the mind. Yeah, I would say mind. a lot of the stuff we do as human beings is in the brain. No, no, yeah. no. But this is different. This is acting. Oh, okay. Mm. What's different about acting is that oh, yeah. you don't have to uh, do stuff in the real world. You can act in your mind. Ask yourself, oh. where did concerned aunt go to school, and what was her third grade? Juilliard for acting. She went to Juilliard for acting. <laughs> She's also thinking about yeah. concerned on. So we're two layers deep. And when you're really yeah. fucking good at acting, you can do that. You yeah. can go, if you take our classes, you'll be able to go four, five layers deep of an actor being an actor being an actor. It, you, it'll be yeah. amazing. And if you sign up for those classes using promo code TRAVNATION, yeah. you're going to get <laughs> you up, get 69% to, up off. to 10% off. Oh, wow. That's if not you like, If you like, if you like, it, mid possession, just pull out a peanut butter cliff bar and take a bite. Like, mm, my favorite, and then put it down. That's building the character. That's yeah. that, that's color. You know yeah. what I mean? That she loves that. She loves that kind of cliff bar. Or like, yeah. take out an asthma inhaler. Just you know, like, yeah. oh, that's just little part of tweaks, it. Little, little tweaks, tweaks. or maybe tweaks. just stare off into the distance for a second while you remember something that maybe happened to you as a child. Mm-hmm. Uh, regarding like, oh, the day the swing broke, right? And I broke my arm. And you just remember it for a second. Remember it, come back. but don't say it or do anything or the child no, gets no, no. so it's pissed off. Think yeah. it and think about it. That's what most of acting is. Don't yeah. be it, dream it. The Achieve other half it. is kissing. It's weird yeah. That, yeah. They, that we have to do this. Yeah. Um, in, in it's like every, 50-50. It's weird that every movie has a kiss in it. Yes, and thank that you. And they make us do this. Why? Why? I love money. Let's go to the money zone. Whoa, that was abrupt, Trav. The, your well, passion listen, for... as an influencer, I'm just going to lay he my cards out on the table. I love yeah, money, and I'll, I'll promote anything for money. No, he, anything. I'll promote it. Yeah. Now. Let's go to the money zone. It's better. It's better with you. I'll even promote Stitch Fix, a company which you've all heard me talk about uh, adversely about. I've spoken out against Stitch Fix so many times. Yeah. But for money, I'm willing to promote Stitch Fix. Yeah. For money, I'll say I love Stitch Fix. That's I'll say I've been subscribed. I'll be. I, I'll claim to have been subscribed to Stitch Fix for many, many years now. And I'll say I'm wearing Stitch Fix pants. You know wow. what I mean? For money, for my money, I'll do it. Because Stitch Fix, they will connect you with like a personal stylist and give you uh, stuff to wear that's based on what you like, your sizes, uh, your budget, all of that. And for I'm, money, I'm head I'll to toe stitching that. right now. I've just realized I am head to toe stitching, um, which is speaks to the quality of this incredible service. Are your headphones stitch things? Yes, Travis, my headphones are I'm stitch just fix. curious as to what the head yes. part is. Glasses? Um, no, it's not okay. Neck to toe, neck it's to It's an expression, ankle. Travis. It's an expression, man. Expression. Was it it's worth an expression. it? Was it worth that? It was. It was it worth it? It's just a figure of speech. You were on it, Travis. You were on a fucking roll, dude. <laughs> and then I interrupted you, and then you interrupted me, bro. In your prime, Justin, you got to interrupt and get back on it. And you, and you fell apart in your prime. I, I, the, these are this, this, this shirt. Could be from Citrix. I don't remember, but it could be any shirt. Yeah. Could be from Citrix. You got to keep your eyes open. That's good. Any uh, shirt from uh, Citrix if you try hard enough. Yeah, you, you only have to keep the stuff that you love. But I really feel like you're gonna love a lot of it because they do. Uh, they do a great job. 
And uh, trust me, try it today at stitchfix.com slash brother, and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com slash brother. Stitchfix.com brother. It's 2023. Your website is? your website is bad. The oh, one man. that you currently have, unless you're a Squarespace user, and in which case it kicks ass and is good. And you can probably see where this ad's going. Um, but you Tip need to have a bit. You gotta get a better website. And Squarespace is the I'm just gonna say easiest way to do that. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. We've all made Squarespace websites. I mean, the three of us, but maybe every person on earth has. And it's easy. It's great. It really doesn't take much effort. And you get something that looks like it took a lot of effort, which is the American dream. Create pro-level videos effortlessly with the Squarespace Video Studio app. Uh, They have a next-gen website design system called Fluid Engine. Uh, It lets you take a template that you like and customize every single detail with drab and drab and not drab (laughs) nothing drab about this technology but it is drag and drop and um you can also have a little flip and plop you can have secret little member areas for your yeah and and they're like little hidden enclaves that you can put on your website too Go to squarespace.com slash mybrother for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code mybrother to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. You never get enough breath going into that sentence. It always takes a little bit more breath to get through that sentence than Mm -hmm. you think it's going to. But that's part of growing up is learning. Learning, growing. I'm Dan McCoy. I'm Stuart Wellington. I'm Elliot Kalen. And together we are The Flophouse, a long-running podcast on the Maximum Fun Network, where we watch a bad movie and then talk about it. And because we're so long-running, maybe you haven't given us a chance. I get it, but you don't actually have to know anything about previous episodes to enjoy us, and I promise you that if you find our voices irritating, we grow endearing over time. Perhaps you listened to one of our old episodes and decided that we were dumb and immature. Well, we've been doing this a while now. We have become smarter and and more mature, and generally nicer to Dan. But we are only human, so no promises. Find the Flophouse on MaximumFun.org or wherever you get podcasts. Co-Optober continues in celebration of National Co-Op Month. I'm Paul Mary Muniz, producer and a worker owner at MaxFun. I'm Mrs. Ambrosio, producer, and I'm also a worker owner at MaxFun. This week is all about community. Of course, we couldn't be a co-op without the MaxFun community, and we love it whenever members of our audience get together. So we're having another MaxFun meetup this Thursday, October 12th. And next week, we'll be hosting a panel discussion with other worker owners across the co-op community. And we are still selling our limited edition Launch Crew merch available to all MaxFun members. But only through the end of the month. For more info on Meetup Day and everything Co-Optober, head to MaximumFun.org slash Co-Optober. That's C-O-O-P-T-O-B-E-R. Have a great week. Would you guys like to have another question? I'd love that, Justin, please. Right. I am starting a new job and my first day falls on Halloween. I was told there Ooh, will spooky employment. I was told there will be a Halloween party. What costume should I wear in order to make the best first impression? That's from Vexed Girl in the Valley. The party will be Quagmire. <laughs> okay. P.S. The party will be immediately preceded by a mandatory office wide sexual harassment awareness training. If that helps, that does not sound real. Not Quagmire. I, I don't. Not quagmire. I don't think that Quagmire is the best fit for that. No. Oh. Okay. 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 Here's the thing. You could you wait until after the seminar to put the quagmire costume on? <laughs> giggity. Giggity. Giggity giggity. <laughs> you could beat Quagmire during this during the seminar and keep asking questions and really learn a lot. That'd be a changed quagmire. <laughs> That's a, that'd be. I've so funny. learned a lot about consent. Travis, it giggity. sucks how good that is. Don't do that. That sucks. <laughs> it's not fair, I and it sucks. I just have to hit the ground running. I'll, I and could can I never do it again. What a shitty character to be able to do that good. That sucks, man. You didn't think about the repercussions. I know. Listen. Man, that sucks because it's, it's definitely not the first time you've done that before. It is. It is so no, I the first time Travis, I've done it. I believe Travis. When you have All a right. voice, sometimes it's just rattling around and then it In comes there. out. That's a good point. Uh, how do you do uh, the the line you have to walk? And I know I'm just laying out the parameters of the question already there. 
But to make it clear is you don't know how committed the rest of the office is yeah. to Halloween. So you don't want to go all out and show up and you're the only one. But you also don't want to like really hedge your bets and you go and everybody's all out. And don't I got to find a balance. I don't agree. Really? I feel like in this day and age, the more common play is to go fucking all out. Every single themed party I've been to in the last like three or four years, which which ain't a lot, uh, have been adults trying to win the mm-hmm. party yes. by being the, mm. the best looking one there in the in the theme that has been provided. So ju- I would actually assume that if you don't bring that that high fucking Heidi Klum cheddar, you are going yeah. to actually embarrass yourself. Hmm. What about Indiana Jones? Okay. Speak on that. Indiana Jones, easy to get the pieces to. Hat. Right? Pants. And recognizable. I did right? that one. No no joke. In middle school, I did that one in like an hour's notice with a fedora that we just happened to have a, a, around our house for some reason and a jump well, rope. Well, don't say for some reason. There were at least four straight cis white men in the house. <laughs> okay, like, sure. Statistically <laughs> speaking, been there was a fedora in, around. Yeah. Uh, and a jump rope I had cut in half. Done. Whoa. Next Halloween, please. Crush that That's one. That's a really good one. I, you got to what? You got to be careful, though, because if this is your first day, you are going to be remembered. Like, people are going to assume that you love Indiana Jones. Like, cause that will be the right. thing in their head that they remember first. Like, that, oh, Indy. We call it. That will be a cool nickname, though. That yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cool it's like, that's not that bad. Yeah. Don't go dress like a calculator. You're right. But Indiana Jones is cool. Math's not cool. Judge Lance e- History is Judge cool. Judge Lance Edo. Was a big deal. Well, <laughs> that's cool. I saw someone dressed as Judge Lancito. Uh, in what year? I mean, like this was ten years ago, which was still twenty years. Still post Edo by a considerable it's a good, margin, yeah. though. Um, can you dress as the boss? <laughs> that's so the good. Fun. Like Bruce Springsteen. Get pictures or? of your direct super. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> and dressing. <laughs> And dress exactly like them. Exactly, exactly like, like them. them. Here's the power play. Yeah. It doesn't matter what costume you wear on Halloween, but the second day of employment, you wear the same costume. And the mm-hmm. third and the fourth, this isn't a costume, baby. This is this who, is who I, I am. am. Yeah. I'm I've Idol. always been the devil. I'm Billy Idol. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> this is me, Billy Idol. Which way to accounts payable? <laughs> I think we can all agree don't be the Joker. Don't be the no Joker. No way, dude. Which one? Any of them? Don't be any Joker. Oh, man. He's not a good employee. I don't think anyone's ever worked with Joker and been like, that was great. Yeah. Especially if you're the person who has to train the Joker. If you're assigned to train the Joker. It's like, hey, could you just show the Joker around? I really <laughs> wish I didn't That's- have to. I made a fish in the microwave. Goal- God damn it. Goal-oriented, results-driven Joker. You know what I mean? Like oh. he's the, he is, but that is Joker. He is all those things, <laughs> but for crime, yes. and not work, but not crime. This would be like I'm the clown prince of results. You know, like you okay. get the job done. That's that kicks ass. I just in the Batman movie where Joker is heavily featured, it opens up with a bank heist where he kills all of his coworkers. Yes, and then. Next, let me guess. Next time Joker wants to do a bank heist, he's gonna call up and be like, "Hey, Tricky Rick, are you in?" And he'll be like, "No, oh. I heard what you did to uh, Sh- Shifty Steve. You fucking killed him in the bank, which sucks. Uh, so no, I don't think I'm gonna do a oh. heist with you, Joker. Oh, I pro- short short sighted. Please, though, I have I'm unconventional, but I I get results." I pay health and dental. We have we have uh, 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 plenty of mental health resources to help you deal with all the terrible things we'll be doing. I give nine months maternity leave and paternity leave. Wait, you do? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. Kind of coming around. So you're saying there's like a 95% chance you'll kill me at the end of the heist, but... I would get nine months paternity leave and uh, two weeks paid time off with 10 mental health days to be used throughout the year. Tom, say yeah, what you will did. about Batman's foes, but they are job creators. I mean, Batman, yeah, yeah, thank B- you. Batman is just there basically by himself. Sometimes he has a butler who I can't imagine he's paying. 
right? He's probably like, well, the none of the bad guys would exist if Batman weren't there to get them all riled up. So Batman's <laughs> the job's creator. Yeah, that's fair because how many of the henchmen would have signed up? If they weren't like, I want to hurt people and steal stuff so bad, but I do yeah. need the protection of a bigger thing. I would also point out that on top of everything, the Penguin does own and operate a nightclub. So like- They all do, he's don't a, they? Also, I feel like they all do. I don't think the Joker runs a legitimate business. <laughs> like, I, I think Mr. Freeze has like a scientific research deal and yeah. like- yeah, Clayface, Clayface runs, a, runs, a, runs a dispensary. Uh, yeah, which is, <laughs> I don't sad. think the Joker's uh, like, we and this, this is Ivy. my bakery. Poison Ivy that's has a dispensary. No, that's Ivy. Ivy. sorry. Damn it. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. I want to munch. Squad. Squad. I want to munch. Squad. Welcome to Munch Squad. It's a podcast in the podcast profiling the latest and greatest in brand eating. Hey, listen. This one's not funny. I, I guess it's kind of funny. Oh, hey, what a preface. Listen, this cool. is not funny. This is just an alert. White Castle has introduced new Asian inspired flavors. Okay. I don't, but I don't, we don't need to update every time a new flavor is added. Yeah, to but a... you do with these, Griffin. Here are White Castle's three newest recipes. First, a quote to lead us in from Jamie Richardson, vice president at White Castle. White Castle's in the business of creating any guesses? White Castle tiny is burgers. in the business of all right, Travis says tiny burgers. That's interesting. Yes, Griffin. I just thought they might be very literal. Memor Maybe the word memories, memorable moments around delicious mm. food. Whoa. I'll take it. I'll take it. And these Asian-inspired recipes accomplish just that," said Jamie Richardson. "The ingredients are simple and accessible, but will produce results that will have your family asking them to be added to the snack and to meal rotation." Mother, mm -hmm. can we add white Father castle to the snack? <laughs> <laughs> the, no, the no, not the regular ones. The no, Asian-inspired no, White Castle mother, add it to the rotation, please. Um, first up, banh mi sliders. Okay. The, uh, the jalapeno cheese sliders take the headlines, but the supporting cast, including carrots, daikon radish, cucumber, and sriracha mayo, is just as important. Once you pickle the veggies, Wait, hold the on. robust flavor. Did White Castle come to fuck? Let's go. I, Wait, it sounds minute. like they maybe came to fuck today. Yes, White that Castle sounds ready. Pretty good, White Castle. Kudos. That sounds really good. Pork belly chicken sliders. The chicken sliders are the foundation, but the pork belly and pickled red onions take a little preparation. That juice is worth the squeeze with this recipe. Jesus Christ. A gross ending. Um, you did not stick. You stick the landing in a big kiddie pool full of pudding. Then, that was gross, but the got, sandwich sounds what amazing. What for you here? Marachu ramen sliders. What? Ramen sliders. This recipe, which uses classic cheese sliders as a base, features beef flavor marachu ramen noodle soup. Sliced green onions, Wait. hard boiled eggs, and sriracha, if desired, join the party to make an unforgettable sandwich. Okay. Now listen, I'm a simple country lawyer. Yeah. <sighs> How do you include soup in a burger? <laughs> how how does one this is physically why I include saved it soup? For the end. They put it at the top of their list, and that was a mistake. I put this yeah. at the end because I got the soup I wanted to the build end. the trust. Right. You know what I mean? Those other two sandwiches, yeah. they're 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 ready. They're ready for the big show. That third one, a glop of soup. How do you get the soup? I have to imagine it's just the noodles. Yes, that there's not a broth component to it. There's just a gentleness. Yeah, but they probably. say the word soup. Probably. It probably is just the noodles, but even that. Still. Huh? Yeah. I Maybe it's just a soppy wet bun. It does worry me a bit because, like, if you've ever made ramen for children, you know that there is an extremely limited window of edibility for ramen. It Once it has absorbed yeah. all of its its own juices and it starts yeah. to congeal. I don't, I don't know this one would be but be great, but I did want to give you a heads up about it. More I'm The other two, though? The other two White Castle came to fuck for sure. I'll, I'll fuck with that bomb me. Yeah, yeah, the bomb me yeah. sounds me real nice. I'll eat seven. Give me seven of those, little give ones. Give me seven. Hey, guys. G gentlemen, seven. G uh, uh, They're little, too, so I could just... No, I could pound 12 of those. Jimmy John's has got new boy math catering bundles. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jimmy John's is launching a brand new addition to its menu, the Boy Math Catering Bundle. The new bundle makes throwing a party so easy that it absolutely that it makes absolutely no sense. The new yeah. bundle makes throwing a party so easy that it makes absolutely no sense. That is the That's not a thought. That's not The an promotion is based on a viral TikTok trend with over 113 million views. So obviously, we did sandwiches about it. Yeah. Boy math essentially gives reasons to trends. You cannot do things. Listen, I know it's 2023 and it doesn't feel like this, but you can sometimes opt not to do not this. do a thing. And it kicks ass when you do it that way. Yeah. Chad, you gotta put your glasses back on. Hey, what's up? What up, girl? The boy math catering bundle was created for the guys that want to have their friends over, but have only one pot and pan. <laughs> right? <laughs> I, hey, That's guys, a no, Travis. Said Justin, it, Justin said it weird, but that was clearly a joke. No, guys, listen. I think, I think AI is starting to write some of these. Okay, this is my theory. Think about these sentences, okay? The boy math catering bundle was created for the guys that want to have their friends over, but have only one pot and pan. For the guys that don't want to cook because they don't want to do the dishes. Now, but this is a, a cyber man who is who is doing this. This is definitely a cyber man. He's been converted. Um, here's the thing I don't understand. What that presupposes yeah. is that until now, men who wanted to have their friends over but only have one pot and pan had no other options of ways in which to feed their friends. Right. That there was no, how do I, uh, if only there was a food I could order. And split between multiple people at the same time. Can we continue the Turing test, please? Yes. The Boy Math Catering Bundle will be featured online and on the Jimmy John's app. It features both a small and large sizing option and includes sandwiches. Mate, that's a, boy, that's a tough moment in the, <laughs> that's a tough moment. You're uh, having the boys over and uh, you got to yeah. really look at yourself and say, self, yeah. am I going to have enough boys for the large? Yeah. Because if not, and are my boys large enough for the large? Is another. How hungry factor. are you, Doug? Oh, I'm so hungry, Doug. That don't Doug lie to me. Like, no one here is going to judge you. But if we get a large and you only eat half of it, Doug, it doesn't matter. If you get what? the large and your boys are there and they're like, "I'm stuffed," and there's still so much left. Did you think you have more boys? And you have oh, to. Oh, did you think maybe there were you had more boys than this? Or did you think that us boys have more fortitude than this? What were you thinking? Um, you know we're very dainty boys. And uh, that is available at Jimmy John's. Let's see. Uh, with each bundle, you can enjoy Jimmy John's giant cookies or fudge chocolate brownies. Now, this one. This one. And since this is such a smart deal, it's for the girls, too. Oh. Because the money. Oh, boy. Because the money you save from ordering a catering bundle means <laughs> you just made money. Hello, girl math. What the fuck? Holy is with the world today? shit, dog. What Jimmy. The fuck, Jimmy. Jimmy. I, Jimmy, I know you're not like, you don't pass the smell test yeah. necessarily, Jimmy, but this is a, this is an unforced air, yeah. Mr. John. Of all the Jimmy. Ways to Mr. wade into the gender binary discussion, the least consequential, <laughs> most destructive way possible. <laughs> yeah. What you've done here, Jim, uh, Mr. Jim, is you've taken a thing that already was bad and weird in context out of context. Right. And like, how the fuck is anyone supposed to understand what the goddamn hell you're talking about? Was it, were they, the boy math meme was begat by boy dinner, right? Which was, I think girl, girl dinner, dinner started was first. begat by girl dinner, right? Right. But it seems like maybe of those two memes, there's one that dovetails very nicely with a sandwich restaurant. Being and that, that would be the dinner based the one. Word. Yeah, it has yes. dinner in it, Jimmy. Uh, that uh, anyway, that's your update. Um, K uh, KFC Canada apologized to utensils for being so delicious publicly. They apologized to all utensils. Finally. That sounds like bullshit. Yeah. Um, but I did. I did want to let you guys know about that. They finally apologized. So, thank you so much for listening to our podcast. We hope you've enjoyed yourself and you got had a chuckle or two. 
Uh, I hope you stop you listening some... after minute 12. Yeah. I hope that you heeded our warning and you that can't, we wouldn't you do can't, anything. You can't complain if you didn't like the rest of it, because we did tell you it wasn't going to be We did tell you to bail, yeah. but that's okay. It's on you. I, I hope you kept listening, though, so that you would know that, like, this weekend, what? we're going to be in Philadelphia, New York, uh, doing My Brother, My Brother, and Me in Philly on October 11th. That's Wednesday. Uh, that is not the weekend in traditional Gregorian <laughs> I mean, calendar. listen, when you live my life, uh, Adi is an influencer. I'm on private jets. Okay. I've got my yacht now. So we're going to uh, be in Philly big, but... on Wednesday the 11th. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, doing New York. My Brother, My Brother, and Me, October 12th. We're at New York Comic Con doing Hoot Nanny uh, with Adventure Zone. October 13th, we're at New York Comic Con again, doing My Brother, My Brother, Me with Sawbones opening. Uh, you do not need a New York Comic Con badge to attend the show, but folks who have both a badge and a ticket to either show will receive a free show poster, as well as the option for priority seating at the show. Uh, and you can also, uh, after the show, view it as video on demand uh, online. And more info and ticket links at bit.ly slash McElroy Tours. Thank you to Montaigne for this for our theme song, My Life is Better With You. Um, if you haven't listened to it today, um, get your get your body right, get your ears right, get your soul right. and Get your walk fix, right. Get your walk right. Your walk with Montaigne. Please fix it. Thank you. And uh, go to McElroyMerch.com. We got new merch. We got a bunch of new Amnesty theme stuff, which is very exciting. Amnesty Lodge themed candle. Which smells real good. And if you... Uh, if you're a fan of uh, Great British Bake Off, uh, Teresa and I are back with our Bake Off uh, watch and discussion show, watch and review show, uh, Bake On, which you can find uh, wherever you listen to podcasts. Let's send them. Let's send them. Yeah. Let's do this. I've been working on this sound. Oh. <laughs> My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. I'm Griffin McElroy. This has been my brother, my brother, me. Kiss your dad square on the lips. I went too hard. Maximum Fun, a worker-owned network of artist-owned shows, supported directly by you.